ago, uh, the zero point energy comes to me and I feel it. And since that moment, I work with this and help a lot of people. But because of you, thanks to you, because you write the book about this. And it was for me, wow, some energy to help people. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to ask you, for the person who don't know what is zero point energy, what it is scientifically and how does it work in the brain, body and the universe? Well, the, the term zero point means different things uh, to different people. When we talk about the zero point energy, it is the potential that exists within all space. Uh, scientists tell us one square centimeter of space holds the potential energy to power an entire planet. I mean, that is the kind of potential that we're talking about. So what it means on a personal level, we are all in touch with zero point energy. Uh, and there is a wisdom, there is an intelligence within that energy. And we give it different names, we call it uh, by different names, but we can all access it for our own use, uh, as our own personal guidance, because energy is information. We are information, there is information in the field, information, zero point is information. So it is about us acknowledging and embracing the potential of the information that exists in all places uh, and us being very clear and very honest uh, what that information means. Intuition is a big part of this. So in a very brief answer that's how I would define that. And how can we use this energy to clean ourselves or to be in contact with the source? Well, if we choose, this is the energy of the source. So if we are connecting with this energy through our heart, what we now know, 1991, scientists found over 40,000 specialized cells in the human heart that are like brain cells, but they're not in the brain, they're in the heart. They're called sensory neurites. And when we access these cells consciously, these cells are neurons that are tuned to the field. So when we begin to listen to the information from these cells, this is the intuition uh, that we have for our personal intuition, and uh, it's very different than listening to the mind. We can train ourselves to listen and communicate with our hearts differently than we communicate with the, with the brain. And this is where the wisdom of indigenous traditions and ancient spiritual traditions wasn't science, but these people knew how to do these things. So this is the value of blending the science with the spirituality. The science tells us how the things work, the ancient traditions tell us how to apply that in our lives. And how the people can wake up of the, you know, with the zero point energy? With what we just said. This okay. is by accessing that, that field accessing, in the heart. Okay. Yeah. Accessing, okay. Yeah. Accessing and using consciously, it. Consciously, consciously with intent, accessing those cells in the heart, that intuition in the heart. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the work that you do. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you so much for your work. It's really incredible. It's very, very good for the earth and for the people. Oh, I hope so. Thank yes, you. Yes, it is. <laughs>